What up, dude? But HD Gaming here. Welcome to uh, week one of PCA. I am the coach of the Greenville Blazekins, and this is the Team Builder versus Realma of the Arizona Dogbacks. Looking at his team, he has Megalodios, Skarmory, Tornadus T, which is his Z user, Raikou, Amoongus, Deporeon, Terrakion, Borgon Z, Borgon 2, I'm sorry, Cliddle, and Feraligator. He has a pretty scary team and some pretty big defensive threats, such as Vaporeon, Porygon 2, and Skarmory, as well as some pretty good, big hitters. Balios, which also is a, uh, could be a wall for him. Tornadus T can hit pretty hard. Raikou can set up him pretty hard. Moongus is also very bulky. Terrakion hits pretty hard. And Frogator, if it gets set up, can get pretty hard. The only Pokemon that really isn't much of a threat is Clay at all, other than it can uh, get rid of rocks, but that's really about it. Majority of his other team though is pretty scary team, so uh gonna have some watch out for. Uh let's look at what I'm bringing. The first Pokemon I'm bringing is Mega Dancy with Moonblast, Toxic, South Rock, and Thysok. Moonblast hits most of his team pretty hard. Psy Shock is for let's look at his team real quick. Psy Shock is for what is this for? Moongus. I mean, Lucas can come in here and just wall. Other than that, though, like, other than uh, Skarmory, Mega Nazi hits everything else pretty, pretty much hard. And it's Toxic is to Toxic. Work on Z and Vaporeon. And Stealth Rock is, of course, so I can start rolling down his team. If he doesn't bring. If he doesn't bring Clay at all, then I think his only way of getting him up is Skarmory. I don't know if Tornadus has a Defog. I feel like something I should figure out. But at least if he if he uses defog and he sets up rocks, he'll be getting rid of his own rocks. So it kind of I'd much rather have my defog than rocks then. Next is uh well Marowak. Once again, this hits most of his team pretty hard and he can come in on Skarmory and force it out and hit whatever wants to come in pretty hard. Regarded it like of course Ball has a thick club. Music Flail Blitz, Shadow Bone, Earthquake, and Will O Wisp. The Flail Blitz, Shadow Bone, and Earthquake hit pretty much everything for on his team for either neutral or super effective damage. And the Will O Wisp is just there for his Terrakion, potentially, if it wants to come in. I don't think it'll be willing to switch in on this, but. Like. Just. If it comes in, whatever. As well as his Frogator, he might switch that in. So we'll think that will be very useful. <clears throat> Next up is Chansey. We have Sassam Toss, Wish, Thunder Wave, and Protect. Thunder Wave just to slow down. This is his big threats if I don't toxic. Well what's them? Okay, Thunder Wave them coming in, like Trakion, Latios, uh, maybe Frogator if it gets set up. I could Thunder Wave that. I could Thunder Wave Tornadus. So that's very good. Tornadus Theory is pretty fast and outspeeds my entire team. So we'll, Thunder Waving that will be nice. That means that something like Dancy could come in and outspeed it. Which is, of course, for recovery protects so I can recover Dancy without having to fear of getting an attack. And then, of course, I have to talk just for damage. So if I get to get uh, taunted. Or I'm in in front of something I can do damage to it. Pretty double snapper there. Next we have Weezing. We're gonna go Will O Wisp on this, so I can Will O Wisp on, of course. Paint Split, Clear Smog, and Sludge Wave. Paint Split is of course for recovery. Clear Smog is so I can uh, get rid of anything that wants to set up, like the Terrakion or the. Thingy. Well, the Fur Alligator. And Sludge Wave is just for damage, really. And I run Coastal Bong over here so I can get a little bit of damage. And the only thing that doesn't, or can come in on Coastal Bong is, of course, the Skarmory, but it's not going to be setting up. Like, that's more than likely just going to be the Skarmory. I don't see that setting up. Next, we have Electros. Electros is just good. Like, 
versus its steam. You have stuff like, stuff like for Boreon, for Alligator, unless for Alligator, it doesn't really hit it. Um, you can hit Darkrai with Giga Drain. I can go in on the Darkrai Earthquake if it, like, if I predicted going for Earthquake. It can knock off Boreon to. It can Volt Switch around. The only thing that can come in on a Volt Switch, I think, is. Clidal, which I don't really see him bringing. If he does bring it, it won't be that big of a deal. It also can knock off. Okay. It also can knock off, get a little bit of damage on Mega Latios if that comes in. So it can just do damage to most of his team. So yeah, it's fairly bulky. So. And the last Pokemon I'm bringing is Sharpedo with a Darkinium Z. This is just so I can nuke about whatever comes in. Say he has Skarmory with a Sturdy Broker, I can come in it. Darkinium Z it. If it has enough damage to go off, I can possibly KO it. Uh, I can possibly KO a Boron. Possibly KO a Moongus. Anything I wants to say in front of this could possibly get KO'd. I don't see him bringing in Tracheon in front of this. And if he does. And I could just protect if he's scarfed, outspeed it next turn, and then waterfall, and it's dead. I mean, it's like, I don't see him bringing track on in front of Torpedo. I mean, he has other answers for it, such as Roran or Among Us. That's my team versus the Arizona Diabacks. Make sure you stay tuned and go watch the battle whenever that is going to be up. So, yep. Bye.